Hi, I'm Nancy Ann Martin, personal trainer and health coach, and we're doing our third uh, video for recipes for bodybuilders and people who just want to eat healthier. This one's going to be a whole wheat bread with flax in the bread machine. So let's get started. The ingredients we're going to be using today are one and a half cups of very warm water, one quarter cup of honey, a teaspoon of salt, one and a half tablespoons or four and a half teaspoons of vegetable oil, one and a quarter cups of whole wheat flour, one cup of bread flour, three quarter cup of ground flax seed, two tablespoons of dry milk powder, and one tablespoon of vital wheat gluten. And then lastly, we're going to have one and a half teaspoons of bread machine or fast rising yeast. Okay, so we're going to get started on, um, on making the whole wheat bread. Now this is going to go along with the stew that I did in my last video, the beef oven stew. Nice thing about this is you can get both of these things going at the same time. The bread machine is going to do the work on this. The oven will do the work on the stew. About four hours or so later, you can come back and dinner's ready. Okay, so we're starting off with our water. With a bread machine, it comes with the instructions in the machine, but you always want to put your liquid ingredients in first, particularly if you're going to be doing a delayed timing, because um, the yeast can in start interacting early and it can cause all sorts of adverse effects in your bread. So we got our water in there, and now a quarter cup of honey, I kind of over poured on my honey. One trick with honey, if you spray your cup, with some nonstick spray just real lightly before you put the honey in there. It helps it slip out without having to feel like you need to go in there and scrape it out with a spatula or a spoon. And now I'm going to put my salt in next. Even though this is not a wet ingredient, salt can kill the growing of yeast. So we want to get it in the bottom so it's far, far away from the yeast. And now we have one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm using a canola oil because it's heart healthy. If you wanted to, you could use olive oil also. That's also a good heart healthy oil for you there. Now we're going to go down to our uh, flours. Obviously this is not a gluten free recipe, um, particularly because I'm going to add gluten at the end. I just want to mention that very few people are either gluten intolerant or have uh, a, a reaction to gluten. So. For most of us, this is okay. There's really not a big reason to avoid gluten unless you have celiac disease. That's one half percent of the population or 15% of the population that are gluten intolerant. So we're going to just sprinkle this in. I'm trying to kind of do an even covering over my water there. And then a, a, another cup of bread flour. Now bread flour is a white flour. It's real light. Um, the reason you want to put some of this in here is if you only go with only whole wheat, you can do that, but the bread is so dense. It's just not as flavorful. And one of my goals with recipes for bodybuilders and people who just want to eat healthier is to make foods that we can actually share with our family. So if it's not palatable to everyone else, they're not going to want to eat it as well. So you could substitute, do, um, you know, instead do one and a quarter cups of whole wheat flour just wouldn't have the same texture. Also about the whole wheat, I'm not sponsored by any brand, but I really recommend King Arthur. If you, it's more expensive, but if you get it and open it up, you'll see the difference. It's not as clumpy, separates, and it tends to make a lighter bread. And then we've got three quarter cup of ground flaxseed. Now I grind my flaxseed fresh. Um, the nutrients in it are better preserved if, if it's uh, fresh. If you let it sit around for too long, it loses a lot of its essential fatty acids. I also store mine in the refrigerator, but we'll do a video later on grinding flaxseed. I just do it in my coffee grinder. And now we're going to have two tablespoons of non-fat dry milk powder. Yes, this is the stuff that my mother used to mix with water for me in my lunches at school. It does not make good lunch. Back in the 40s, I think it was very popular because it kept well. But for this, it's going to work. Um, that's because we're not using milk in the recipe. We didn't warm the milk, we used water. And then we're going to have uh, one tablespoon of vital wheat gluten. Now I know somewhere somebody with celiac disease is crying, but um, I'm adding gluten because with the whole wheat, again, it has a tendency to be heavy and gluten help it, 
helps it <laughs> to um, to rise and be lighter. And then lastly, we're going to add um, bread machine yeast. This is one and a half teaspoons. Your rough um, estimate for yeast is a half a teaspoon per cup of flour, and in this case I also included the flax in that because it acts as a flour. With yeast, people tend to be a little bit afraid of yeast spreads. There's no reason to. They're really not that difficult. Um, but you do want to be careful not to over yeast because the bread can fall in the middle. I've been having a problem with this bread doing that lately. Hopefully this time it will be fine and it will rise nicely. I think I've put too much yeast in it before. If you do not have a bread machine, I would highly advise it. This is one of the less expensive ones. I may have paid $60 for it. It's a corner bakery. It works great and it has, does a nice large capacity. It will do a two pound loaf. So I'm just going to put it in here. Make sure that the front part is towards the front. It locks in. Put my handle down, shut it. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to put it on the whole wheat setting. For three is my whole wheat. I'm just going to push that until I get to three. I want my crust to be medium, which is on A. If I wanted it uh, light or dark, I would do B or C, but I want medium. And I push the start button, and the machine is going to do the rest of the work. And in four hours, we're going to have whole wheat bread. So the bread machine has screamed at me and told me that it's ready to have the bread taken out. We're going to check it out and see how it looks. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, it fell. That's okay. It'll still taste good. So now I'm going to take my oven mitt because that is very hot in there. I have turned my bread machine off, lift it straight up, and now I'm going to dump it out onto this cutting board. It just comes right out. The little kneading bar stayed in. Sometimes it gets stuck in the bread and that's okay. I just dig it out. I'm going to set this on its side and let it cool for a few minutes and then we will cut it and have it for dinner. So the bread has cooled off enough for me to cut it. If you try to cut it before it's fully cool, uh, you, it winds up being kind of gummy in the middle and so it kind of needs to finish the cooking process sitting out here on the cutting board and cooling off. So I'm using a serrated knife and these loaves are often shaped funny that come in bread machines. So this is the way that I cut it. All right, so I'm gonna take my serrated knife and I'm just gonna cut straight down the middle. This makes the pieces a little more manageable. Then I turn it to the side and I'm just gonna slice in this direction. If you want them smaller than that, you can even go like this. That way I can give people kind of thicker, chunkier pieces without being such a huge amount in one piece. Just like that. This bread is not just great for eating with meals, but it's also fabulous toasted for breakfast or any other way that you would just use normal bread, for French toast or those types of things. Um, for bodybuilders, for people who are cutting in, the best time to eat something like this is before noon, also right after a workout, since there is some white flour in there for some fast absorption of carbohydrates. For this recipe and other recipes for bodybuilders and people who just want to eat healthier, you can go to my Facebook page, Recipes for Bodybuilders, or hang out for just a minute and check out the links immediately following this. Thanks a bunch for watching my video. You can just follow the links after this video. That was no good. <laughs>